Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Allie. I'm a mom who loves DIY, simple living, and making a house into a home on a budget. So the focus of fall in the home always seems to be heavy on the visual aspect, like adding decor like pumpkins and leaves and cozy blankets, things like that. And while yes, if you walk into someone's house and it's decorated for fall, that obviously signals to the brain that it is fall. Um, however, there are four other senses that a lot of times are missed in the fall decorating, and this probably goes for other seasons as well, but something that is missing is the other four senses. So it's one thing for your home to look like fall, but today we're gonna talk about how to make your home feel cozy for fall. We're gonna talk about some ways to incorporate all five senses into your home so that your home really feels like fall, which I think creates a lot of that nostalgia that you feel from time to time and a lot of the memories that come along with the seasons. So I think the first sense and the one that gets the most attention is sight. Um, what that might look like is cozy blankets, pumpkins, leaves, um, adding in oranges and maybe some yellows and browns, just some fall tones that make it look like fall. So smell and taste, I kind of combined them because I feel like they cross over in a lot of ways. For smell, it could be candles, diffusers, food or dessert cooking or baking, even like a potpourri on the stove. And for taste, it's similar minus the diffuser candles and potpourri, so maybe it's food or baking um, or apple cider or tea things like that that um, taste like fall. And just a friendly reminder that this doesn't have to be perfect. To incorporate these things, it does not have to be totally homemade. It can be something that is store-bought and you reheat it in the oven or uh, maybe you buy apple cider and you put it in the crock pot for the day and set up a little apple cider bar. It's those kinds of things that really create memories for us and our families that uh, make a big impact and create like that nostalgic feel um, in the years to come. So to create like a potpourri on the stove, um, I think this is a fun um, activity. You could get your kids involved. It could be something that sits on the stove all day long, but you could do apples, oranges, cinnamon sticks, cloves, vanilla beans, even just vanilla extract. Basically all that stuff together sounds like it would smell amazing. Some other ideas are some simple pumpkin breads or um, apple breads or apple pie or pumpkin pie. If you're looking to do this really simply, I've seen a lot of people take literally a vanilla cake mix and they add pumpkin to it and they bake it and it's super yummy, super easy, but it smells homemade. It gives that fall scent to the home. Obviously candles, I tend to stay away from candles for the sake of the chemicals. However, I do have a post on DIY beeswax candles that I will link down below. I think there's something about candles burning that just adds such a fall feel. Something that I forgot to mention in the sight category is lamps lighting. I think it is so important to turn off the overhead lights and turn on lamps as you move into the afternoon evening and it starts to get darker. There's something about that that just, it feels so cozy. Another thing for fall um, smells is around here, it's pretty, it's pretty mild in the fall. It doesn't get super cold. So having windows open and hearing the leaves blow and the leaves fall, um, hearing those sounds is very fall-like to me. So sound, that's probably honestly one of the ones that gets neglected the most, mostly because I could see someone being unsure of how to even incorporate fall sounds into um, their home. But I think one, having a playlist with just some moodier, um, like fall-type songs is great. Um, and then if you think about it, fall doesn't really have music, like Christmas has music, right? So for fall, if you create a playlist that is fall sounding music, whatever that means to you, and then you play it every year and add on songs every year, I think that eventually by year two and three, if you've heard it enough, you're gonna hear those songs and immediately feel fall. So you're creating like this setup where you know that when you hear those songs moving forward in the future, you're gonna feel that nostalgic fall feel. So touch, the sense of touch. Um, flannel sheets are something that are a little bit of an investment, but um, I think are so worth it because they take you from fall to winter and there's nothing better than getting into a really warm, cozy bed after a cold um, football game or um, honestly, just maybe your house is chilly and it's cold outside. Um, getting into a bed with flannel sheets is magical. Again, with the tea or the hot apple cider, if having a warm mug in your hand is um, something that you enjoy, just having that as a go-to, maybe setting up a little tea station, um, I think that is a great 
option. Another thing that I'm learning slowly is I love to have things in my closet that fit the seasons. And obviously, um, you know, in the summer, you're not going to have like cardigans and warm things in your closet. But as you get into fall, I think having just some really easy, um, like oversized, chunky knit sweaters, chunky knit cardigans. Having some really simple, warm, cozy outfits that you can just throw on without trying that make you feel put together and maybe you can layer to feel really fall-like. Maybe it's having some cute wide brim fedora hats that sit on your wall but that you can just pull out and put on before leaving the house. I also love to have some things to layer in the fall, so whether that's like vests and scarves and things like that that you can just layer that create a really cute outfit with little to no effort. So now you know how to decorate in a way that incorporates all five senses. I think this just gives a deepened sense of fall in our homes. I think sometimes I get to the end of the fall season and I just feel like, where did it go? I don't feel like I really got to enjoy it. And I think that honestly, part of that is just not having the feels of fall because decorating just isn't enough. So I hope that you found these tips helpful and I hope that you now feel inspired to take them home and put them to use in your own house in order to make your home feel cozy for fall. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you would subscribe right down below and hit the bell notification while you're at it so that you get notified every time I post a new video. You can expect new videos from me every Friday along the lines of DIY, simple living, and making a house into a home on a budget. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week.